There we go. I can give a little guide. How to, how to make money in this game. How to survive in this game. This is the best map to survive on. Every other map, I've only had varying levels of success. This one I can usually survive on if I'm not doing something dumb. This is the cemetery entrance. This is the job. Oh, dude, I never saw the background. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Uh, never saw the uh, background of this map. But yeah, this is the um, Scorched Lands or whatever, this first map. And it's a cemetery. And you can easily survive. If you do what I do right now, this is just going to be a quick in and out. We make a beeline through. Sometimes enemies spawn right here. So if you just hang in the shadows, you don't try to shoot them. You can genuinely, generally walk right by. It's always worth going into this little area right here. Check for loot. Water can spawn here. Obviously, it didn't spawn you this time, but sometimes it does. Uh, and when it does or doesn't, sometimes there's an area here you can get a lockbox and Not some storage. This doesn't always spawn. It's very... It's random spawns. Never really found the magazines to be super useful. Um, now, another place items can spawn is right down here in this little area. Now, these guys are shooting each other, so that's why you see a bunch of squares on the map. I can loot those if I wanted. Now, genuinely, if nothing is spawned here, up there, or in that little trench, what you can do is just hop right over. See, water's right there. And you can loot in here. One of these places will genuinely and generally have something. I don't really like the AK, so I don't really get AK stuff. And then you just loot the bodies. And whenever you're done looting whatever you want from these quick areas, pick up the gun. Makes this job worth it. Huh. Oops. This is probably the most risky area out of all the places I've just looted. The rest of the areas are generally not super risky. I want the water instead. Because sometimes enemies can spawn here in this middle area and sometimes it can be busy. So if you want to play it safe, don't come all the way down here. And just loot this tr uh, tunnel trench thing. Loot up here and loot up here. And then you follow this, wherever you got loot, you come back up here. You take a little breather here, see if there are any enemies. Enemies can spawn up here, and then they can also spawn on this side. In fact, enemies have spawned on the right side. So we just go up here, wherever they're not. And generally, this place is relatively clear. And even if there are some enemies, you can just hop right over here. And you're almost home free. Now, if you found, if you were unlucky in your loot spawns and you found nothing useful that is like a water or a large loot box, a lot of times something can spawn right over here. So you can just hop right over the wall and look right here and uh, get some, uh, get some goods. Not much, but at least something. And then you're quite home free. Very few enemies spawn in this area yet. Sometimes they have, but very, very rarely. Nothing is 100% in this game. But regardless, even if there are a couple enemies, sometimes they're over there, sometimes they're over all the way there, and you can just kind of run right by them, even if you feel like you can't. Trust me, you can. And you are almost to the extraction. This little pipe is the extraction, and it's a very safe extraction as well. The most hairy part is generally right here. When you're approaching the extraction, sometimes guys can spawn on this side or this side or in the middle or whatever, but you can quite regularly just crouch and go right by. And there's a mech guy that spawned on the left side. If there are guys along the left side, you go on the right side. If there are guys on the right side, you go on the left side. 
you can come in to the pipe from both ways. Let's go nice in the pipe. And then you're home free. You made it. That is a quick five minute rundown. You can do this run every time. Great job, crew. Literally on the regular. And you can make enough water, money, quick five minute run. Four minute, 57 seconds. And a good amount of loot. A really good amount of loot. This is surplus ammo that I brought with me. But yeah, that's it. You can do this run over and over and over again. And uh, get every single thing you need in the game. Weapons, ammo, food, uh, uh, water, the, the guns themselves. You can get all kinds of stuff. That's not for quests, though. That's just for surviving and making successful runs. So again, start cemetery, scorched map, or whatever it's called. You can find out what it's called right now. Yeah, Scorch Enclave. Go to the cemetery and do that route. And it is the clearest route that I've found in the game on any map so far. There could be better ones, but that one I found very much good success with. So if you like that information, give this video a like, give a sub, share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments below how this route works for you. And if you have any favorite routes on any of the maps yourselves. Heck yeah, see you in the next video wanted to make a little guide video. I've not really made a guide video for most games, so wanted to do that. I'll be able to clip that and cut it up and make it into a, a nice little vid. A nice little vid. Not a COVID, silly moy. Just a normal vid, silly moy. Usually what I do is I collect loot doing this route over and over again. But usually, I mean, I've only played this game for about 15 hours. So it's not like I've been doing it a bunch. I like to explore the other maps. But this is the map that I found the most success on for sure. Now, the reason I'm running this map is this map also regularly spawns the Europan drones. Which are the big circular drones. So I want to be able to kill the last one and get the last one. 